Okay, here's a very interesting cubic equation question that I found from the MathD contest in the year of 1997. And here's the question. We are given a cubic polynomial x cubed plus 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. And our goal is to find c so that p of x plus c, where this new polynomial, has no x squared term. And for the people who have done the cubic formula before, then you'll see that this right here has that flavor, right? You kind of want to get rid of the x squared term by finding the correct c. But anyway though, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, I will tell you guys what the answer is right here first. Answer, c equals negative 2. I'm going to show you guys two ways to do this. Firstly, we want p of x plus c has no x squared term, so let's go ahead and figure what p of x plus c is. So right here, p of x plus c, of course, this just means that we put the x plus c into here, here, and here, so we get x plus c to the third power plus 6, x plus c, and then square, and so on. We don't care about the rest, because all we care about is the x squared term. And right here, this is only going to give us x squared term. If we use the Pascal's triangle, we know the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. And then the second term from here gives us the x squared term. And that will be 3, right? The coefficient is 3, and then x squared, and then times c. So that's the only x squared term from here. Next, we will have to add the x squared term from here is, of course, x squared, and then times 6. So we have the 6x squared. Yep. Yep. So what do we do? Of course, if we don't want to have x squared term, that means our coefficient, namely 3c plus 6, we have to get 0. So c equals negative 2. And then we are done. So that's it. <laughs> OK, that was cool. Now, I'll show you guys, this right here has the fiat formula flavor. Mm. Well, well done, okay, because I think this right here will be shorter in this question. If you know what to pick up and if you want to answer the question right away, of course you don't have to do the rest. But this right here is like more of the algebra approach, like theoretically. I, you guys let me know how you guys think. Anyway, suppose we have this polynomial and let's say it has three roots. I don't know what they are, but I'm just going to say let R, S, T be the roots of our original p of x, all right? So that means we can write this as x minus r times x minus s times x minus t. And luckily right here, the coefficient of the x cube is one, that's why it's just this, this, and that, all right? And of course, you can go ahead and uh, multiply this out. The first term is going to be x to the third power, and then the next term is going to be the x squared term. And you guys can trust me on this, we'll just work out on your own and so on. It will be minus, and then we do r plus s plus t, and then x to the second power, and then whatever. Again, we don't care about that, because we just care about the x squared term, which is this right here. Okay? So, if r, s, t are the roots of the original polynomial, then you see that we can figure out the sum of them, Right, by looking at the coefficient of the x squared. Okay, so how can this help though? Well, let's see. If we have this polynomial instead of p of x plus c, what's the connection between the roots of this polynomial and the original polynomial? Let's just think about it. When you add c to the new polynomial, if you want to get a root, just minus a c, right? So we know that r minus c r minus sorry r minus c s minus c <laughs> there's no numbers anymore s minus c and then t minus c will be the root of our new polynomial which is p of x this doesn't look like p what am i doing p of x plus c and then of course you can just write it down again and then you can say that the first thing is going to be x to the third power and then minus and then right here you just enter the sum of these three roots right here for the coefficient of the x squared 
and right here I'm just going to put down mm, okay R plus S plus T, T okay so let me just write it down first and then plus, minus 3C so minus 3C right and now we want this to be equal to 0 so let's see I can distribute this to here so we are looking at negative R plus S plus T and negative negative is plus 3C this is equal to 0 and this right here is what we can find earlier altogether they are equal to 6 so this part is just nicely equal to 6 and then plus 3C equals 0 and of course C equals negative 2 alright so I think this way is definitely shorter but I think this right here I personally like it better because it's more of a theoretical approach not just computational and for the people who are interested you can actually use this approach to depress this cubic into like the x to a third power plus px plus q and then continue solve that from there but I'm not responsible for that 